Hi everyone, welcome to this course on vulnerability management. In this video, we'll be looking at another of our objectives, which is tools used to implement vulnerability management. Alright, let's dive in. Okay, so um, according to Gartner, Gartner is a, a leading um, company that provides reviews on specific um, solutions, specific technologies and they provide a waiting to those technologies. So according to them, uh, they provide, they have numerous amount of vulnerability management solutions, uh, but they've actually provided us with the top three um, most used uh, vulnerability management solution out there in the market to start today. So we have Tenable, uh, we have Rapid7, and then we have Qualys. All right, so for Tenable, Tenable, it's a, all of these three companies are whole cybersecurity uh, oriented organizations. So they provide uh, products that speaks to different aspects of cybersecurity um, and they provide uh, different solutions um, in that regard. So for Tenable, Tenable has product for vulnerability management, um, for web application security, for active directory security, for container security, uh, for industry IoT um, type of security and things like that. Um, for Rapid7, Rapid7 is actually well known as well for the creator of uh, Metasploit, uh, which is a penetration testing tool um, used by both um, offensive, um, for offensive and also for defensive um, defensive approach uh, in cyber security space. They also provide um, products for vulnerability management and also products for endpoint security, product for SIM, product for application security as well. And Qualys also does the same. Uh, they provide products for vulnerability management, products for application security, products for compliance and the likes. But in this video, I just want to focus specifically on vulnerability management. So um, I'm going to take each of these um, products, each of these companies products one after the other and then uh, we can wrap it up for today. Okay, so for Qualys, uh, for Tenable, um, Tenable has, um, they, they offer a full bouquet uh, as we get uh, when it comes to vulnerability management. And uh, what they provide is they have, um, they have, it's more like a three-tier kind of architecture. Permit me to use that for, in terms of how they approach vulnerability management. So at the lower level here, they have uh, Nezos. These are all the products that operate at the lower level. Uh, so they have Nezos Scanner. Uh, this is the tool that is actually used for vulnerability assessment itself. They use it for vulnerability assessment um, in terms of identifying vulnerabilities and providing recommendations uh, for those vulnerabilities that has been identified. And they also have a tool called Nezos uh, Network Monitor. Uh, so this tool provides a it's a passive provide a passive network monitoring um, of assets across the entire network if it's been um, implemented or if the license is purchased. So it provides you a visibility into all of your um, into the network activities of your assets uh, in your environment. Also, they also have Nessus Agent. Nessus Agent, it's a it's a sensor that's um, deployed on the host that you're trying to manage, and those hosts send vulnerability data to the central manager, which we're going to speak to in a few minutes. Um, also, for Tenable IoT Industrial Security, it's actually used for to manage um, industrial um, technology solutions. So, for IoT specifically. So you can use the Tenable Industry Security to scan um, those environments for vulnerabilities. Uh, for container security as well, they have they use Tenable IO for container security. So meaning that if you want to scan your containers, your Kubernetes, for example, you can actually use um, this solution. Um, your containers, you can actually use them to to scan that environment, uh, which it which. Uh, may play a bigger role in DevOps environment, meaning that before your your build goes live, you can actually use um, Tenable IO cloud security uh, to scan that to scan that build before it goes uh, before it actually goes live. Then for um, Tenable IO PCI DSS is actually used in the compliance space uh, to ensure that um, your devices are compliant with PCI DSS, especially if you operate in the payment in the payment um, industry. Um, you can actually use this um, solution to scan um, your your environment 
to see if they are complying with the PCI DSS standards. And also for web application, they have a specific um, um, a, a, a specific product to scan your web application, so it gives more in-depth um, visibility into the uh, web application that you're scanning. Provides the ensure that they go through the scan for the top ten and um, vulnerability as provided by OAPS to ensure that your applications are. They're actually safe from um, those vulnerabilities and they also provide additional uh, components to ensure that your, your web applications are actually safe um, from vulnerabilities, are actually visible. You can actually get as many vulnerabilities as possible um, using those products. Uh, this is the, um, the lower level, like I said. And then all of this um, information or all of this scan data that is provided by these um, tools are actually imported into the second layer so i call them tier two <laughs> into the second layer and for tenable sc and tenable io uh, this is more of the um, vulnerability management um, solution especially so these um solutions they go through the six processes um, that i spoke about um, in my previous video so just for a recap those process is the identify assets Um, they prioritize assets and they assess uh, which is the vulnerabilities assessment itself and then they provide reports and then they provide remediation or patch and then finally they validate so um, this this particular um, product here, Tenable S and Tenable IO, are the ones who goes through the same processes. However, the this tier la this layer, the tier one layer, um, provides with the assessment. So these are the tools that they use for the assessments in the entire process. Okay, uh, so that's what Tenable SC and Tenable IO does. And so for Tenable SC, Tenable SC is, is designed specifically for on-premise on -premise environment, meaning that you have to provision the server in your environment. Uh, depending on the operating system you want to use, it supports Linux and it supports Windows as well. So different builds, you Linux, Red Hat, um, yeah, specifically Red Hat, um, and um, it also does the CentOS versions, so seven and eight. You can actually use that as well. Then for Windows, uh, Windows 2016, and all of the major builds. But you can actually look at the documentation to have more understanding into uh, more of those um, tech, uh, more of this operating system that is actually allowed for the on-premise environment. And for the cloud, uh, the cloud based, you just need to subscribe um, to the tenable um, IO environment. So you just need to purchase a license. Uh, or you actually build it on the cloud itself so it's you can actually um, they already have um, existing platform in the um, cloud environment so for aws for azure and for google um, they have their presence in in those environments so all you just need to do is to uh, subscribe and to each of those um once you subscribe to each of those cloud platform you can actually get those uh, appliance. You can actually get it installed uh, as an image, as an already existing image, and then you can install agent and all of the hosts that you want to manage, and then you can begin to um, you can begin to send your vulnerability data um, to this um, environment. And lastly, for Tenable, they have Tenable Lumen, and what Tenable Lumen does is that it provides a um, cybersecurity. Um, weighting or benchmark um, as we get to your environment so they have different metrics that they use to achieve that uh, one of those matrix is um, one of the matrix is the policy yes um, it's cyber exposure score uh, they also have vulnerability priority weighting which they use to provide um, the CES score and they also have um, tenable vulnerability indicator, uh, T, they call it TVI, um, to provide um, information uh, as you get your, your tenable solution, your tenable coverage, 
and the VP how it's vulnerability priority rating it provides you a priority rating for your vulnerabilities um, based on the criticality of the assets and then it's it, the scoring is from 0 to 10 uh, it does this it can be dynamic and it could be static meaning that dynamically uses its own machine learning to compute um, those scores and provide you a value between 0 to 10 or you can actually manually looking at the criticality of your assets and say uh, we want to ensure that the, the, the vulnerability power it, we need to prioritize the vulnerability on this particular asset and then you can increase the score um, also they also have something they call asset criticality rating ASR so what ASR does is that it provides you with um, so once you it perform asset discovery um, it tends to uh, prioritize those assets so you can prioritize assets based on the vulnerabilities that have been discovered on those assets and then provide those assets with the scores and what uh, apart from that um, you can also create asset groups and you can now you can tag them create asset groups and then tag them um, based on the critical and you can even also apply your own ASL score so like I said, the AI score could be dynamic as well, or it could be manual. You can actually impute your own manual score based on the criticality of that particular asset. So all of these values, the VPL, the, the TV high, um, and the ASL, they compute together. They, they have a scoring mechanism um, to provide you with the CES score. So the CES is the cyber exposure. Um, it's called the cyber exposure score, which is between the rate of zero to one thousand. So meaning that the lower your value, um, the better secure that your environment is. So um, most time, it's most organized. Most tenable usually prefer that you you have this as an add-on uh, to your security bouquet, uh, so that you can see um, your exposure, uh, how exposed your environment is based on this um, CES score. So, looking at how you manage your vulnerability management using the existing tools, you can actually know where you are in terms of your cybersecurity safety. Uh, looking at the score provided, um, using the metrics um, they have in the environment. Okay, so for additional information, you can just visit the website um, Tenable. I've actually included the website here, um, Tenable. Uh, Tenable.com, and you can have more visibility and more um visibility yeah to all of their products and then you can you can actually take it up from there okay so let me move now to qualis uh, i said qualis provide different um cyber security solutions in different spaces they had for endpoint security um, they have for compliance as well they have for vulnerability management as well they have for web security as well and other uh, numerous solutions that they provide uh, also assets asset management as well uh, they also provide um, subscription for asset management so for qualis qualis provide uh, the services um, especially in vulnerability management space um, it could be cloud subscription these are two ways you can actually um, get involved cloud subscription and um, physical or virtual appliances or virtual appliances so for the cloud subscription what you just need to do is to um, subscribe um, to the Qualys um, cloud platform and uh, depending on the solution you want to purchase so for us we're looking at uh, VMD how uh, which is vulnerability management detection and response. So this um, solution offers um, four uh, modules. So the asset inventory provides you with how you can do your asset inventory for all of your assets in your environment. It speaks to, it, it cut across different um, um, space. So containers, mobile, IoT, um, OT. So it, it does a full um, asset inventory on all of your assets in your environment and it tends to provide you with more information as regards to assets in terms of the build in terms of the uh, memory of those assets in terms of the storage space of those assets um, and things like that so it's actually very comprehensive in terms of these assets um, inventory then for vulnerability and configuration assessment this is where you can actually um, run scan um, it has its own scan template and it also gets updated the vulnerability management database tend to get updated to capture um, 
um, latest vulnerability using their Qualys uh, plugin um, and the Qualys ID. So they have their Qualys, Qualys ID for each vulnerabilities and that is actually done um, from the, they have their own threat intelligence as well that provide um, updated information as we get um, vulnerabilities. And also um, threat risk and prioritization. So what this helps to do is helps you to identify the threats and the risk in your environment based on the vulnerability count. And it also provides you the capability to be able to prioritize those vulnerabilities. Uh, using their prioritization technique, they have a machine learning um, embedded in that which allows you to prioritize based on different um, metrics. It could be based on exploitability, it could be also based on, um, on indication of compromise, IOCs. Um, they have different metrics they use in prioritization of their, of their products, of the uh, prioritizing the vulnerabilities that has been identified. Um, also, they do that based on rootkit as well. So they have numerous um, ways by which they, they can use to prioritize vulnerabilities. And the core concept of what they use here is, is they use risk-based uh, prioritization of, of assets, of prioritization of vulnerabilities, excuse me. And for they also do patch management. They offer patch management um, in terms of um, embedded patch management, meaning that you, you just need to purchase a license for patch management and you can actually patch your vulnerabilities directly from Qualys. So you don't need a third party solution for to patch your environment of the vulnerabilities that have actually been identified. You can actually do the patching directly from, from Qualys. And I think this actually set them apart from other vulnerability management um, solution. Okay, so let me move to the last one which is Rapid7. So Rapid7, um, they are the creators of Metasploit. Um, they have a tool called Metasploit Pro, uh, which you can actually use. There's a free version, which is the Metasploit you have in your Kali Linux. And there's another one called Metasploit Pro, which you have to subscribe to gain access to. So you use that to um, run, to, to further your vulnerability management, meaning that you can actually use it to validate um, the vulnerabilities to see if they're actually exploitable and the impact you have. On your business if it's been exploitable if it is exploited all right so they have two solutions they use to provide um, vulnerability management so they have inside vm which is cloud-based and they have an expose which is on premise which is on premise based so the difference between um, these three solutions is that what stands them out is that um, one of the primary differences um, for Qualys, Qualys only performs um, patching. Uh, they can do their patching within the platform. But for other solutions, they provide um, recommendations on how you can actually patch those vulnerabilities. And they provide you with a ticketing system whereby you can actually use to track um, if those remediation has actually been done. And for for inside VM, they, they, they provide, it's, they call it a project, it's a tracking project. So you just need to create a project within the solution and you can use that to actually track um, the vulnerabilities and its, its remediation. All right, so those are the three um, known top three vulnerability management solutions um, out there in the industry. Uh, you can actually visit these sites uh, for more information as to how um, these different solutions um, perform vulnerability management. And they're quite very good. Um, you might decide to choose any of those solutions uh, based on their preference, based on your own preference, and also based on licensing because they all have different licensing model. All right, so thank you very much for watching this long. Uh, I hope you find this video very valuable, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.